wish I could drive a scooter on my own. I can't. I tried. Just last month, I went on a huge adventure to the Philippines. At first, it was just to attend a travel bloggers convention, but I quickly fell in love with the country and knew I had to see more. So I changed my flight and stayed for almost a month to check out more of the islands, oceans, people, places, activities, and animals that make this country so amazing. I'm Alicia, creator of AMA TV, and I invite you to join me for this nine-part travel video adventure series on the Philippines. I'll be releasing a new video each Friday, so subscribe on YouTube now so you don't miss any of them. It's more fun in the Philippines. So, I'm on the island of Palawan in El Nido, which is a super famous spot. And the thing you do here is island hopping. There are tons and tons of tours you can take to all of these different, these different things out here. It's finally somewhat of a nice day. I've been here for about four or five days, waiting for a nice day. Our island hopping day was not the most epic day. Weather-wise, it was fun, but just imagine it with the bright blues and greens like you see on TV. And just wait for me to come back, because I will come back, and I will film it again. Um, but this is a good introduction to El Nido, and I'm also going to give you a tour of the town. And if you haven't noticed, I am vlogging on my DJI Osmo. A lot of you are always asking me questions about, you know, what it's like to actually vlog on this thing. Of course, it's great for image stabilization, and you can flip the screen around this way. And uh, right now I've got the full setup hooked up. Um, I've got other videos on that if you're, if you're worried about all those technical details. But if you just want to see El Nido, then continue watching because I've got some beautiful things to show you. <laughs> the El Nido sign here, I suppose, is a bit famous. You could want to get a picture in front of it. This will have to do. I, it feels like it's hard to vlog with this thing because I kind of feel like I'm never looking. I'm not sure you noticed. It's like, when am I actually really looking into it? I am now, right? And then if you go like that, you're kind of... But that's good, that's the stabilization working. That's what it does best. <laughs> there are a lot of dive centers here, and my gosh, diving is such a thing here. I got certified about 10 years ago in Australia um, on the Great Barrier Reef, and I fell in love with diving, and I just hadn't been since, because I hadn't been anywhere good to do it. And when I got out here, I thought I could just go, maybe, but I found out I had to do a full day refresher course, and then like, I didn't have time, or I thought I didn't have time. But really, if you ever think you don't have time or money to do something, it's really just that you're not prioritizing it. And I was also kind of content with snorkeling, but long story short, it looks like they train um, dive instructors out here, which is awesome. El Nido is certainly full of awesome when it comes to water activities, as you saw in last week's island hopping vlog, but in this video, I wanted to give you a quick tour of the actual downtown area. It's basically just a central fishing village where you'll find a cluster of small hotels, restaurants, and shops. There are very few cars on El Nido, and most tourists get around by hiring these tricycles, as they're called in the Philippines, for typically just a few dollars. Shopping on El Nido is nothing spectacular, but you'll find beach hopping basics and fun handicraft souvenirs. I picked up this handsome wood-carved mask. Also, any accessories you might need for the island tours like ocean packs, water shoes, sarongs, and of course, flippy floppies. Food is decent in town once you discover the good stuff. You'll find pizza and other classics, but the best thing to eat is the local caught and fresh grilled seafood, and for a fraction of the usual cost. Wow, oh, angel wish. This is the restaurant that we ate at about three nights in a row. Crepes are definitely a thing here. You'll find them everywhere. Oh, this is the street. This is the street. Yeah, this is my favorite street. One up parallel from the beach. And I'll show you what's become my favorite spot, Art Cafe. They've got um, actual green salads. Literally the only place I've found so far that has green salads and cute boutiques. So a um, little bit more upscale boutiques. A lot of tour companies. Every other store is a tour company. Art Cafe, hi. So Art Cafe is not only an upstairs restaurant that has green salads and really good smoothies, they've got a really cute gift shop. 
um, with some decent stuff. And then there's this outdoor area, which looks gorgeous. I didn't eat here yet. Look how nice this looks. Maybe I'll eat there tonight. Let's cut through. All right, so here, here is the little beach in the main area of El Nido. And uh, it's not really a beach to lay out on or anything like that. It's just like a boating, boating area. This is where all the tours leave from. So in the morning, there's just tons of tour boats um, going in and out. But then at night, you can eat along the beach. So almost every restaurant has a, a thing set up. Something interesting. That doesn't sound bad. Oh, jackfruit. Look at that string. Sweet chi Wow, purple yam. All right, I guess we're walking through the water to get around the beach. It must be high tide. Oh boy, I just got soaking wet. Uh, wouldn't be a big deal, but I really was playing for it right now. Hi, can you wave? Can you say hello? Hi, hello. I remember you. I think it was you. Oh, you guys are so sweet. One for you, two for you. <laughs> As a visitor to Palawan, you will definitely encounter this group of sea gypsies. They're often selling pearls on the beaches and it's tempting to help them out, as I did by revamping all of my old ear piercings. Look at that. I was happy to buy this young lady a smoothie in exchange for a smile. She got mango, I got papaya. And there's a bit more of this story on my Instagram account at AMATV if you're as fascinated by them as I was. It was at this point on this beautiful day that I finally decided I must venture out to one of El Nido's real beaches. While Napkin Beach is their most famous, Las Cabanos was a bit closer at just 20 minutes away. Um, yes, yes, yes. I was so inspired by that sudden pop of sunlight that I got into a tricycle and came down here to this little beach, Las Cabanos. In addition to its natural tropical beauty, Las Cabanos features a convenient beach bar with casual seating and a bit of island shade. They serve up local beer and perfect fruit smoothies. Perfect. And as the sun began to set, they were actually preparing for a party because believe it or not, this was Halloween night. All right, so I'm about to leave this place, which has truly become my home here in El Nido. I cannot say enough good things about it. It's like this guest house with all these different rooms. There are so many rooms, different rooms you can book with different um, bed configurations. And uh, this is my favorite room, room number two. It's just a little room with a little desk. And the owners are super nice. They make you breakfast in the morning. The best part of all is that there is excellent Wi-Fi here. Wi-Fi is super hard to find. Um, in the Philippines, especially in El Nido. In most places you go, it'll be like free Wi-Fi and the Wi-Fi doesn't work, work crap. This place has good Wi-Fi, it works really well. Highly recommend this place. It's a little bit, it's like near the center of town. You can easily walk to town in five minutes, but you know, it's a few streets away. So it's, you know, not overcrowded. I just love it. It's just the perfect balance of everything. And I was so lucky to find it on hotels.com. So I will link to it. It's called the BKNY or B-N-K-Y. I don't even know the name of it. I've just been living here all week. So I don't know if it was just because it was empty that we had such a great time here, but um, Evie and I, Evie from Mumpack Travel, like literally set up here one day and just did like internet cafe, just got a bunch of work done. It's just like super chill. Thanks again, everyone, for joining me on these adventures so far. I will likely skip publishing next week for holiday celebrations, but after that, we've still got the Island of Bahol, some amazing luxury resorts, and eventually more swimming adventures with gentle but gigantic underwater creatures. If you do want to see some of my holiday fun in the great state of Florida, go ahead and add me on Snapchat. I'll likely be making some stories starting today as I'm headed out to visit some alligators with my family. And I'll see you guys soon for part seven of the Philippines travel video series. Bye.